Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the channel today. I am very glad to see you. Today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, we are going to work with item pictures once again, and this would be in the case that you already have a number of item pictures in your point of sale, and at some point maybe you lost the original folders or something like that, I don't know, for some reason, you want to get your pictures back out of point of sale. So today we are going to work on exporting item pictures from the point of sale and getting them back out to a folder where you can mess with them. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks point of sale Facebook group. Join up there. We have over a thousand members ready to answer any questions or have a discussion about something with QuickBooks Point of Sale that you feel like posting there. It is a wonderful community with so many great people in it. Uh, if you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks Point of Sale videos coming at you all the time. So let's jump into this now. I will show you. I really only have a few item pictures already set up so let's see here like I got my my Mountain Dew here and I got what else I got a QuickBooks hat I think I got somewhere around five or oh here's the hat QuickBooks hat uh, special mug I have 5, 10, 15, something like that, uh, a small number of pictures, but I'm going to walk through how you can export them and get back to them. Maybe you're building out something with a website or you're doing something else with pictures for the products. And so, here we go. I'm going to go on the File menu to Utilities and Export. And on the Export menu here, we see the very bottom selection is export files to a folder for item pictures. I'm going to select that. We hit next. And now we have a few options. Are we going to export pictures for all items that have a picture in point of sale? Or maybe you just want to do one department, uh, one or more departments. You can select numerous departments or one or more vendors. So if you just have a few vendors that you want to get the pictures out from, or all the items with the same name. So you can actually type in a name and anything that has that same name will be exported. That could come into play if you have styles going on or item variations in other words. Uh, I am going to do all the items, any old item that has a picture. It says I have 13 items with pictures, so that's news to me. And here we go, I'm hitting next and the destination folder I'm gonna choose exactly where I want this to land I'm just gonna to go to the desktop and say new folder QB POS picks I'm gonna let that rename and then I'm gonna select it and hit OK <clears throat> excuse me now create file names using the following structure now if you have variations it might be a good idea if if different variations have actual different pictures in them like maybe they're a different color or something like that I don't know if you'd have different pictures for different sizes but I know different colors would definitely have their own pictures then you can certainly name them by item name attribute and size and the picture would come out with a name like this baseball shirt underscore red underscore medium and then the underscore def means default which brings us to our next setting here but I'll get there in a moment so the other ways you can name this is just straight up by the item name. You can export them using their UPC number to be the picture. You can use the ALU or what is called the alternate lookup number. That is a field in your point of sale often having a part number on it. Or you can export them just to be naming the file as the item number in point of sale. That's the automatically generated item number in point of sale. Uh, I'm just going to do straight up item name. I'm cool with that. I just want it to come out as an item name. And then you get to choose which pictures you have. There are actually two pictures you can put in each item in point of sale. One would be the default view and then you can have an alternate. And then there's also a smaller thumbnail image which comes into play uh, on previews and stuff. I only just want the main large default view. So I'm just going to choose that one. I will hit next here and it says I have 13 items with pictures that's news to me very interesting <laughs> I, apparently I don't remember adding some of those 
And then I think I'm going to want to open the destination folder when the export is complete so that I can look at the pictures. So here we go, folks. Exporting now. It actually opened on my other screen over here. Uh, oh, I'll let it finish. Uh, it opened this folder. It looks like it makes a subfolder anyway called item pictures. So I guess you could, I could have just put it on the desktop and it would have created this folder called item pictures. I kind of thought it would go faster than this. So if you have a lot of pictures, that might take a while. Oh, I'm just staring at it. It says, export is complete, click finish to close. I, For some reason, I didn't read that because I thought the bar should go all the way. Sorry about that, folks. So I'm going to hit finish. It opened up my folder here. I'm going to double click on item pictures. And even though it said I had 13 or 15, for some reason, it's only exported the five that I was thinking of. So there they are, and it has named them according to uh, what the item name was. Now, the other eight or so items that didn't get exported, I think they might have been variations. So I'm kind of wondering if variations get skipped if you don't choose that first option. But here you have it. 